This is not just a hospital project. This is a hospital and trauma center. Just to be on the ready after a major event, after any event that would uh, uh, require its need to be a trauma center. We went through a very rigorous exercise to look for innovative ways to have a seismic design to safeguard the objective, meaning for the new hospital to remain functional after an earthquake. So the design, we actually uh, uh, test the building virtually to magnitude eight earthquakes. With that, that challenge, we introduce a brand new state-of-the-art uh, base isolator that would uh, shield the structure from seeing uh, significant earthquake forces. So this is one of the uh, isolators uh, on this job. It supports the building from... The base isolator is actually quite simple. If you allow what goes on the top to move relative to this gadget, and what goes on top would not see as much force it's like you yank a tabletop quickly and things sit on top, will stay there. It's similar. I think the best way to do it is to be, the best we can be, learning how to dance with nature. And at the end of the uh, uh, event, that the structure we design will remain standing to provide the service that it's supposed to uh, provide. Foundations are done, the seismic gadgets are uh, installed, the superstructure, steel superstructure is in place. And when we visit, you see the uh, good part of the exterior is in. And now they're putting the gut, the functioning pieces that make a hospital tick is being uh, 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 worked on right now. That the perception of a base isolated hospital very difficult to design, it takes a long time to design as well as to uh, get approval, and it's expensive. We were able to, to remove all those doubts, myths, because those myths created roadblocks for uh, others to use more of it. Now that we've removed those myths, more hospitals will be built using the same technology, and it's happening. So for that, I'm really, really happy.